and another one, and another one. Look, I'm fishing, y'all, in the lab again. Brother Frankie's, we'll get the final results. But another Lorenz install in process, baby. Get back with y'all when the final results. Brother Frankie rolling. Running through the progressions on the unit, man. The install is done. Showing you once again. Fish on top of structure. Fish above structure. Those arches of fish. That's your structure. You can change it to a different mode if you want to. Instead of, you know, that, you can show your fish. Mm -hmm. You'll see how to do all that. What I do, I sit in the garage and call the rents. I tell them, hey, I want to set my system up where it mark fish and depth and sizes and it'll do that. Send you and walk you through it. Because you can't really do it. Me, right off the bat, because I ain't just savvy, savvy with them. I like sitting on the phone with Lawrence yeah. and letting them set it up. They'll tell you which to select, miles, power, speed, all of that. Down scan imaging, partner, where you can shoot straight down pick up stuff, structure scan, that way you ride and you see what's on both sides of you. That's your side scan. You see rocks, whatever you fish to the left or to the right by what you see on the side of you when you're running through. It's detail, man. Yeah. So what I'll do here, go here, go back up to settings, go back down here to simulator, select it. Stopping the demo. Okay. Now it's on regular, so when you hit the water, you're ready to go. You got your screen protected? Yeah. Let's pop it on. See, it's going to always give you the screen when you power it up. Okay. And telling you, to, do you want this product to be your primary source of navigation? Except. You always accept. Remind me later to register. They're going to keep doing that. You, That's when you get on the phone with the yeah. brands. One and another one. All that's left is a hooked up fishing decals, baby. And look. <laughs> we Lawrence ready. Triple shot. Hook 2-9 triple shot, baby. Crappie can't hide no more. On the 99 Carolina skiff, baby, that looking good. New trailer. What else you need? Just that water. And some of them hard hit a hand tie. It's a wrap. Triple shot transducer. It's a wrap, man. That's a wrap, yo. Dad taught me to do everything on a handshake. Grab tip of that. No, no, you can't. That's a two piece. That's just a. What's your name? Alton. That's what I'm coming over to do. Lance Johnson. That's what I'm. Well, if I get it together. My buddy Mike Eby from Alabama. How you doing, Mike? Yes, sir. Welcome. Welcome to our fine city. This is the best part of it. Don't go downtown. No, it's okay. But I mean, it's not for me. I said, boy, only, only directions you know is the fish creek. I see you, you acquired a new boat recently? 
two of them. Two of them. Uh, I got a place over there on Conroe, and uh, I was thinking about because a bunch of my mom's church members, or people, my brother, that one hobby I have has a stand-up rail system. It's like for the handicapped mate, right. basically. Yeah, yeah. Guy's a little more scared. Out to me. Lance Johnson. Lance Johnson. Nice and to know you. Nice Rick. to meet you, Austin. Mike. 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 Nice, nice to meet you, man. Uh, so the, the crop you've been biting pretty good out here. No. Right? Yeah. Yeah. This lake is more of one of the natural lakes around here. I, I found it. It's better in the winter to me. Really? I love it in the winter. Well, time. I came out here with uh, Lamar Harris. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what he said when he. He really told me a lot. Uh, Lamar. Oh, Lamar. He fished Somerville. I live over in Brenham, so. I haven't been back there yet. Oh, he, he hit it. it. Yeah, I fished Somerville once. But man, I just, you know, like it's I only said. 10 minutes from the house, so this is a good crop here. And I'm just right now just, just mapping brush piles and. Learning it. Trying to figure it out, yeah. Well, you'll find that wintertime crappie <laughs> biters. <laughs> I ran into him out here. Yeah. One morning I got in the water and it was like somebody threw an outboard in there. It was just churning up everywhere. But you'll find out those crappie, you'll love it a little bit better in the wintertime. Well, man, I hope you guys hammer them. I think that feed is later. That's all that's going on. That's why they're acting finicky. Really? Yeah. I'm going to check it right now before I get started. Well, Lance, thanks for watching, man. Mike, sure. nice meeting you. Okay, I'm going to get over here with the guys and try to... My, my mom's 98, and she's depending on me for crappie. Yeah. Guys, I'll get a formal introduction to all of the guys that are out with me today. We'll do a little black bass fishing while the crappie may be slow right now. The feed is at 2 p.m. It's... Uh, 8.20 a.m. right now, Gibbons Creek Reservoir. Let's see if we can uh, tie into a bass or two while I'm waiting on the crop. Alright guys, I'm going to roll up on everybody while I got them all in one spot. So I can do a little formal good morning introduction real quick. Y'all saw me working on the Kobe. Uh, KB is in. KB, how you like that finder? You seeing everything? Learning. Gotcha. KB first time freshwater fishing. He's got some jigs. Of course, y'all know uh, Fraze, aka the Drop Down King, and then AT. We're all four deep out here today. Crappie fishing, uh, brush pile. Fraze just got marked with a buoy. I got another buoy dropped over there in another spot. We were getting fish. I didn't get hit this morning. So we'll come over and invade and we'll do uh, the bumper car thing, man. Somebody catch a fish, you just run up there and bump them and make them move out the way and then get you one. I ain't marked any yet, but uh, hooked up fishing, man. We're going to get out here and enjoy ourselves a little bit. He said, it's, he said that tree run all the way over this way. I ain't never really ran into it other than one spot, but I'm going to get on top side of it and see what happens. Looking at it, man. You're just sitting there holding it. Is that on camera? Yeah, yeah it's that's on, on camera. camera. You know what that yeah. Like this here. Instead of taking my jig off his line, get what he did. He, he just gave me. He just gave me this look. I'm he gonna look back me. at you. I'm 
I'm gonna look back at you. Look at that gum knucklehead, man. That's what I got, a knucklehead right here. Hey, man. I ain't, you know what? He catch a fish. Hold he, on. He looking at me. No, because I got, you, I think you did that on, he hooked my line. I don't know about that. He, how you hook my line way over here? I don't know about that one. Man. Yeah, I'm going to get on you now because you did it to me. That wasn't right there. He did it on purpose. No, he gave me a little old look like I was in the wrong. Instead of 18, he could have politely took my jig off his line. Now you he looked at me. Look, 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 I think that was that big thing he's talking about. If you come up there and hold it steady, KB at 11, you bound to get popped because it looks like they're active. Crop is for you, partner. <laughs> That's what one of them cam action hooks, y'all. If y'all don't know, y'all better ask somebody. Cam got it going on. I lost one, but he gave me a he gave me a better one back. He gave me a better one back. Put this ice bag to work, man. Show y'all how this ice bag works. Look at that ice bag, y'all. Your eyes up. 
drop your crop in. And that way you can put your drinks up on top here if you needed to, but I got another cooler for that. Okay, let me get over here. Time to get on the street. Make time go. Just like always, if it can happen, it will. I'm gonna jig, huh? Get off of that. Don't let me find you, crappy. Don't let me find you. You're gonna have to ease all the way up to that buoy with your jig. I ain't get bit back there, and I know I know what I'm doing, so if you don't get up there, you ain't gonna get bit. Don't worry about it. You, you, the way you facing the wind, you can control that hobby just with your steering. text messages and everything on my screen on that, that gum fish finder. That's what I don't want. I don't it's going want crazy. I got to have it, my dear. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to call that lady now and tell her, okay, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't let me find you, crap. He's on up there, KB, and get it right up there to the buoy. I wish I could mark some more fish in another spot if he, if he come out here. I know, I know. But you remember, uh, Olsen dropped the tree behind. Right. Check them out. I don't think they're going to get on them that fast. That's a good fish. Hard-hitter hand ties. You gotta have hard-hitter hand ties. You can't just have no energy. You ain't fishing unless you got hard-hitter hand ties. I don't need but a hundred. There's four of us. Let's make a hard fish picture today, y'all. You got freezer room, don't you? But that ain't greed then. If it'll fit, <laughs> it, we ain't OJ. This one, if it'll fit, we ain't gonna quit. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go and click my thing three times even though I got two fish. But crazy, gotta give me the next fish since he. Uh, he knocked one of mine off. He owed me a fish. He called his lady. Get this out the way now, Miss Kyra, please. Okay, y'all, what we're doing is vertical jigging this brush pile. Frazier got marked here. The fish are suspending, some at 10, some at 11, and some hugging the very bottom of that tree. KB's getting used to his hobby, how to position itself. AT is in that Pro Angler 360, so he's got a lot more control in his wind. Frazier, of course, got this man called a spot lock. So he just locked on the spot, you know. So I got to get in there every now and then. Kind of, you know, just get in here and nudge him a little bit, you know. He let me up in there. The crappie were hitting pretty good. Look like they done figured out that something is up. Because their partner left, you know what I mean? He seen old Elmo and Leroy and about four or five other of them left. He said, hey, man, I was you. I wouldn't mess with that hard hit of hand tying them minnows, man. Feeling hurt. Damn it, that's what I'm trying to go. I'll get it. I'm right here, just hold on. I can stick my rod and hold it. I got it all right, I got it all right. Hold on, look at him. Man, you been standing there for three hours. You ain't, you ain't got him yet. Trying to stick it. Just missed one. 
color, man. That's Short Truth and Silver. His wicked booty baby today. Ate that hard hit of hand, tough. I mean, ate it. Look at his ice bag. Flick it. Flick it. Flick it. I knew you had moved. I turn the camera off, man. Y'all know spaghetti legs is. Some hand ties, busting them up. Ice bag, work. My dear, get ready. Flick. Let me find you, Crappy. Don't let me find you, boy. How many you got, boy? That's old Paul. <laughs> Talking about live scope is cheating. Paul say live scope is cheating, man. He said he don't need no electronics. He can catch the crappy on any lake. He got a uh, he got a paddle boat. He gonna put a trolling motor on there. He's legendary as far as years, but he's gonna have to get with technology, man, because of uh, it helps. We ain't howling, y'all, so just hang in there and roll with me. Yeah. Up, y'all. Ended up with four crappy. I ain't even took no video of them. Crazy got 11. I don't know what AT got. KD, he had a good trip out, man. Uh, we'll holler at y'all in the next episode. It's beat down Friday. I was already tired from Thursday. I was doing bat extractions in my brother's attic. Later.